This is Hugo with UrbanLine.com and this is a review of the Cuisinart 2 quart ice cream maker. One of the good things about the Cuisinart ice cream maker is the body itself. It feels very well constructed unlike most other ice cream makers. At the very bottom there is a place where you tuck away the power cord and uh, although it's a very good feature because it lets you hide the cord when not in use, when you do use it the power cord itself is very, very short. To use this machine, you need to pre-freeze the freezer bowl for at least 8 hours beforehand. So it's always recommended with this kind of ice cream maker that you store the freezer bowl in the freezer. Keep that as a warning. If you have a small freezer, you're better off buying a smaller cuisine art ice cream maker on the market. You also want to prepare the custard or non-custard ice cream beforehand to keep the ice cream cool during the whole process. When you're ready, you turn on the unit, pouring the ice cream mix slowly into the cuisine art. As to not let the ice cream stick to the walls. If you like your ice cream smooth, rich and creamy, the Cuisine Art 2 quart ice cream maker delivers in spades. You basically pour your custard or non-custard ice cream through the uh, spout opening at the top and then as the machine churns, the custard will start thickening. At the 10 to 12 minute mark, you start seeing your creation take shape. You should add your mixings about 5 minutes before you think you'll stop churning the ice cream, which is typically about 30 minutes. The longer you leave the ice cream maker running, the thicker the, the ice cream will be. The device is not quiet by any means, but it's not louder than similar devices available on the market. As a matter of fact, here's a video of the ice cream maker churning so you can make your own judgment call on this one. Without a doubt, the Cuisine Art 2 quart ice cream maker is a hit. The ice cream is rich, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's delicious, and it's highly recommended by Urban Line. Here's a look at the final product. It's a vanilla ice cream with Oreos in it. As you can see, it's smooth, it's rich, and it's creamy. This is Hugo with UrbanLine.com.